Hello everyone, my name is Shu Ting. In today's episode, I will share with you the step-by-step -step guide on how to connect devices to an Epson projector wirelessly. Users can connect their devices, such as Windows and Mac OS laptop, iOS and Android OS smart devices, as well as Chromebook to the Epson projector using the iProjection software. This software is free and can be downloaded from our Epson website. Before we begin, please ensure that your device meets the minimum system requirements for the Epson iProjection software. There are two connection modes available for the projector. You can select between these connection modes to suit your network environment. First mode is the quick connection mode. This allows you to connect your device directly to the projector using wireless communication. You only need your device and the projector. No other equipment is needed. The other mode is the advanced connection mode. This allows you to connect your device to the projector using wired or wireless network system. The projector and device should be connected to the same network. Additional equipment such as routers, access points or network switches are needed. To connect a device directly to the projector using wireless communication, you need to set the network settings for both the device and the projector. For the projector's settings, first, turn the projector wireless power to on. Using the remote control or the projector's control panel, press the menu button. Go to Management, followed by Wireless LAN Power. Next, enable the simple AP option. To do so, go to Network, select Network Settings to select the simple AP option. Select Network Projection menu. Then set the Epson Eye Projection setting to ON. It will then prompt you if you want to enable SSID display, display LAN info, and keyword interrupt display. You can enable or disable based on your preferences. Moderator password allows you to enter a four-digit password for assessing the projector as a moderator using the eye projection software. You can enable this function if preferred. Once completed, go back to network settings screen. Select set option and follow the on-screen instructions to save your settings. After which, you may exit the menu. Next, press the LAN button on the remote control. The wireless network settings will be displayed on the screen. After completing the projector settings, we now need to select the wireless network on your device. To set up the device, first launch the iProjection software from your device. Select Quick Connection Mode. The software will automatically display all detected projectors set to quick connection. Alternatively, you can go to your device wireless settings and connect to the projector's SSID. Once connected, go back to the iProjection software to check if the projector name is displayed on the application. Select the projector name you want to connect to and click on the Join button. If you are using Windows or Mac OS laptop or Chromebook, your laptop or Chromebook will be mirrored to the projector. However, if you are using a smart device, regardless of whether it's Android or iOS operating system, you need to select the supported content to display. Please refer to the information on the screen for the supported formats for smart devices. Now let's move to the advanced connection mode. For projector setting, the first step is to connect the projector to your network. If you will connect the projector via wired LAN connection, set the IP address, subnet mask, and gateway of the projector. To do so, press menu button on the remote control or control panel of the projector. Select network, network settings, followed by wired LAN. Click on IP settings. 
If the DHCP is available on the network, you can simply set DHCP to ON. The network will automatically assign IP address, subnet mask and gateway to the projector. But if DHCP is not available, you need to manually set the details. Set the DHCP to OFF and enter the projector's IP address, subnet mask and gateway. Once done, save the settings and exit the menu. Make sure that the IP details are correct and that your network can detect the projector. On the other hand, if you're going to connect the projector to the network via wireless LAN connection, first, make sure the wireless LAN power is turned on. Press Menu, Management, followed by Wireless LAN Power. Set the simple AP option to OFF. Go to Menu, select Network, then Simple AP. Next step is to select Wireless LAN. Click on Search Access Point to automatically search for access points on the network. Select the access point you want to connect to. You can also click on SSID to manually type the access point. Then set the IP settings. If DHCP is available, set DHCP to ON. Alternatively, set DHCP to OFF and manually set the IP address, subnet mask and gateway. If you do not want the IP details to be displayed on the network information screen, set the IP address display setting to OFF. Select Network Projection menu, then set the Epson Eye Projection setting to ON. It will then prompt you if you want to enable SSID display, display LAN info, moderator password, and keyword interrupt display. You can enable or disable based on your preference. Once completed, go back to Network Settings screen. Select Set and follow the on screen instructions to save your settings. Then exit the menu. Press the LAN button on the remote control. The network settings will be displayed on the screen. Next, connect the device to the same network as the projector. Launch the iProjection software from your device. Select Advanced Connection Mode. The software will automatically display all projectors on the same network. Select the projector name you want to connect to and click on Join. You may connect to a maximum of four projectors simultaneously. We have now come to the end of this video. I hope you have learned something new and useful today. Thank you.